tutorial is to show you how to use the Excel unit up or how to define your own unit up in Excel for use in ChemCAD. So I've obtained a, obtained a license um, and now we can actually see an example. If you open, this is the path um, under your documents or my documents, my simulations, examples 7.15 and custom unit operations and when you install ChemCAD on your computer or all the computers in the labs. Um, this path should be valid. Um, we can click this Excel unit up data map, open up the example, and this is the operation here. You can see um, under all unit ops, <clears throat> like so. This is the one that has been dragged over, and there are some notes here that detail uh, how it works. But the mapping is done in ChemCAD and Excel. So what we can do is come up to Tools, Excel Data Map, New Data Map, and we have this uh, this template that we see here. So this map rule, <coughs> this tells us that we can choose. Uh, we want to send a value to an Excel worksheet, or ChemCAD is pulling a value from that worksheet. This uh, stream objective, um, this is if you're using a stream value, a unit up value, or just something else that ChemCAD has available. This object ID is going to be the stream or the unit up or your miscellaneous feature, component, and where things are going. So actually, if we open up this first one, this is data uh, map one. So if we want to edit current data map, if you look at the first one, this is going to be stream 1 coming into the Excel op and stream 2 leaving. So we can see that the Excel workbook path is this one called blackbox.xlsx, and this is just a uh, temperature pressure flash operation done in Excel. So we can see that from the stream 1, we're sending a value to the worksheet that value is the temperature of that stream and it is going to cell C11. So if we click open, it will open the corresponding Excel sheet and TP flash was our example. We can see that cell C11 is temperature coming in. Come back and we can see that cell C11 is what we're sending temperature to. Uh, three other values, um, component mole flow rate of cyclohexane is going into C12 and pressure is going into C13. If we go back to our Excel sheet, we can see the cyclohexane coming in is cell C12 and our pressure is uh, C13. <clears throat> now here, user specification for the unit, we, they're um, math uh, being performed in steps two and three, but this three down here, um, there is something in our unit up that increases our temperature, our changes our pressure, uh, and now we have cyclohexane, uh, benzene, and hydrogen that we want to feed back into ChemCAD for subsequent operations. So that, the way that that is input, so in stream one, we are sending temperature, uh, component mole flow rate, and pressure to Excel to perform an operation. Once that operation is complete, it says to ChemCAD only, it is pulling streams or values from Excel to put into stream two. You can see back here in the Excel up, we have stream one and stream two on the outlet. And what that is pulling is temperature uh, molar flow rates of cyclohexane, benzene, and hydrogen, as well as pressure. You can see that those cells should be C24 through C28. So we want to double check that. So we have cells C24 being temperature, 25 pressure, and then our three molar flows of 26, 27, and 28. So those are being brought into ChemCAD because we have specified that it's coming to ChemCAD only. So now those values populate stream two 
and it can be used in subsequent operations. Once again, we can choose our own data map by coming to Tools, Excel Data Map, New Data Map. And now if we don't have a current Excel workbook that we want to work with, say uh, yields as a function of temperature, or maybe we're simulating um, some sort of compression system that we, there, there's no unit operation uh, in ChemCAD, we can click New. And we can open up um, just a brand new Excel uh, sheet from ChemCAD.